Welcome back guys to Heart of a Kid Productions, where as I always say, as long as you have the heart of a kid, you can enjoy everything and anything. Well, let's get started. So, anyways, it's been a couple weeks since I've been uh, back on YouTube, kind of been busy with life, kind of getting back in the gym technically, and also uh, enjoying my summer with the family. So, you know, got to take advantage, especially during the summer when we have beautiful days. Um, but I wanted to bring some news to you guys. So. Actually, my wife actually went to uh, Costco recently, and uh, as an awesome wife as she is, she decided to uh, text me a little message about uh, she just spotted a Lego set. And there was two Lego sets I was thinking about getting, but they were kind of uh, a little high on price, one in particular. Um, so it was the Groot uh, Awesome Edition, which uh, awesome mix edition uh, with the, the cassette wanted to get that and it looked really cool and I was like I was like man that, that would be a real nice build you know I think it's like $54 or something like that um, so I was like you know price not terrible um, but there was this Tony Stark set that I wanted to get and it has the car and it has kind of his hall of armor and it has whiplash which I don't believe has ever come out and I was like man I really want that but I remember when I saw it on the Lego site, I think it was almost $90. And I know the uh, price increases and stuff, but I'm like, $90 for that. And what's funny, what I really wanted in that set, besides Whiplash, was the uh, actual sticker pieces, which I hate stickers, but I wanted those sticker pieces that actually made the, the little uh, map that he actually uses to create his... Um, a chest piece so he can heal himself so I actually wanted those stickers because they come together to make that whole little uh, map from the uh, uh, that fair that one fair that they had I can't remember exactly what it's called but I remember I was like that's really cool and I loved how it actually stacked in the actual vehicle just like in the movie where you can drive the vehicle with them sticking out of the vehicle which I was like I was like that's just a cool concept uh, I love that that sticker sheet because it's a map of that uh, science fair thing and I was like man or the expo that expo and I was like that would be just a great piece to have but I was like man $90 for literally whiplash a couple cool figures and then obviously you know just these stickers that I want and I was like I know I can order them online or something like that or probably get them but I was like but you know I just don't want to go through the hassle I want the set if I'm gonna get the pieces then I can utilize those pieces for whatever or keep it as a set and you know I'm not a big Marvel guy but I do like having certain figures like Whiplash because he never came out so as you see I already have the Daily Bugle and I will get the San, uh, San, Sanctorum um, in the future probably not on August 1st because I plan on picking up some other things uh, this month as well that are kind of pricey obviously uh, the castle Lion Kings or the Lions uh, castle that's coming out and a couple other other sets uh, Star Wars sets that I really want so I and I actually just picked up some Harry Potter stuff which I'll be doing a, a, a video haul of that as well here in the near future but Without further ado, my wife went to Costco, and I, I, I already showed you guys some great deals that they had there for the Bobo Fett's Palace, which was really cool. And I was able to get, and they even dropped that down to 50 bucks, that which is half price, so 50% off, which is crazy. But my wife actually texted me, and she was like, hey, I just saw this set. Did you want this? Because, you know, I know you were thinking about these sets. And then I looked, and I was like, oh, man, that's the, the Groot and that Tony Stark Hall of Armor set and it was a combined combination so let me show you what it is so it's right here and it comes with Groot and it also comes with the one I wanted with whiplash right here and the, the car and the, the sticker pieces for the map the expo and I was just like man I was like this is gonna be great because this is this is what I want but I was not willing to pay you know over hundred and sixty dollars you know which would be taxed so probably about 165 70 and I was like 170 for both of these pieces and I was like you know what that is just not worth it so I was holding off anyway hoping there'd be a discount in the future and my wife was at Costco and she sent me this and it was great because for both of these it's a hundred bucks at Costco and I was like a hundred bucks I'm like I'm saving like 65 70 bucks you know maybe 60 because of tax but I was just like I was like that's crazy I was like yes by all means pick it up for me so she ended up picking it up for me and I got it and I was kind of in awe just like I was like the Groot I just want to build him because I love the I'm classic I'm in my 40s so I have cassette tapes I still have a couple cassette tapes uh, which is funny 
but also the Groot. I was like, I loved him as Groot in Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and him being the actual size. Now I know it's not 100% perfect in regards to the dimensions and everything. Uh, I think size wise it was, but you know, there is a couple things I've saw on some videos of other people, but at the same time, I was like, to me, this is a cool figure. And I know some people said that the face kind of looks weird or whatever, or like, like, oh, it's creepy. But to me, I, I actually don't see that. I, I think it looks cute, smiling and whatever. So. He will actually probably, I'll probably build him and put him somewhere, just kind of hanging off something in, in my man cave, just because, you know, he could be standing around, dancing around or whatever with the mixtape, so, or the cassette tape for me. And I was like, cool. So, and then obviously you got your whiplash and then obviously the hall of armor with a couple other figures here as well. And this is kind of in the box. I haven't opened it yet, so it's brand new. Um, but yeah, in the box, obviously he's got Pepper Potts, and I think she's the same one from the uh, uh, Iron Monger uh, set, which I already have as well. Um, but I always loved this suit torso anyway, so could utilize it. And it has Nick Fury. I didn't even know this had Nick Fury because I was so focused on the car and the uh, the little map right here, so of of the uh, expo that. Tony Stark or his dad's expo back in the day um, and then the little car which is not you know anything amazing it's not an eight stud vehicle like speed champions but it is a cool little car and like I said these fit right in the back kind of sticking out which is really cool and that was the main reason I wanted it I was just like I enjoyed those movies watching him Iron Man 1 Iron Man 2 um, you know for me not so much Iron Man 3 I didn't really care for that one but for me I was like I was like this is cool and then it comes with a whole another little tool set and then it has war machine and then other other uh, Iron Man you know suits which is cool and I love getting these blue pieces and you can utilize these for all I never bought the uh, original Hall of Armor I, I just didn't really care for it. it it didn't do anything for me but I always love getting these stickers that go on these uh, clear clear blue and then also right here because I could use those for computers or or different offices or things like that for other mock builds or whatever but thought it was really cool and let's go ahead and turn this around you get a different view on the back so obviously you got Groot over here kind of dancing around um, and then shows the box right here and then obviously you've got the vehicle like I said with the actual pieces of the, the map for the expo sticking out which is really cool and then obviously the suits and then pepper pots talking to nick fury and then you got war machine hanging out with uh tony stark over here in the different suits so that's really cool and then here it is so i i don't know if i open this box they're going to be two separate boxes inside this box but obviously they're going to have all the, the pieces and everything but for a hundred dollars i was like compared to 170 dollars i was like what a, what a steal i can't even complain i'm like i'm like this is great so my wife uh, hooked it up and I was just like, this is awesome. But I wanted to make sure everyone was aware. So if you haven't got these two yet, because I think uh, this one just came out recently and the group is available for pre-order if it's not already out. Um, if you haven't bought these and you want these, $100, way better deal than actually getting uh, getting them separately. So, and I'm all about getting Lego VIP points, but if I'm saving you know, $65 versus spending $170 or so, and then getting only, you know, maybe 10 bucks in, or $10 in points or less. I'm like, this is a way better deal. So I'm always looking for those deals, especially with the price hikes right now. It's just completely crazy. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm not rich. I do collect, I do buy a lot of things that I want, but at the same time, you're still budgeting, you're still working uh, to be able to afford these things. And for my wife, she's working hard and making extra, a little extra cash so I can actually enjoy my hobby and her to buy little things here and there. But uh, with everything going up, it's just money's been kind of more on a thin base that she, it was funny, I even thanked her like, thanks for even thinking to me because cause I, I know, you know, we kind of already went through our monthly budget and she still was like, I can get this, put it on the card, and I'll pay it off on my next paycheck. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to complain. You know, if you want to go ahead and hook me up with something, I'm, I'm going to be totally grateful because I did want these and did not want to spend an extra $70 when this was only 100 So it was, it was a surefire, get it while it's hot, get it now before they're all gone. Because with this deal, I, I, I'm surprised that there was any even left because I think I heard about something possibly coming. I always check Costco. I wasn't out and about. She was there. And she went out of her way to point it out so anyways guys uh just wanted to bring you uh an update check it out make sure you stop at uh costco and uh
pick up uh, this set if you have a Costco card. And at the end of the day, if you don't, if you have a friend that shops at Costco, be like, hey, here's a hundred bucks, pick this up for me if it's there. You know, not a big deal. You know, I would gladly pick up for my friends. I'm like, yeah, I mean, give me all the money. I'll, I'll go buy whatever you guys need. But at the end of the day, this is just a, an amazing, amazing set, you know, at the end of the day. And, you know, Costco's been uh, kind of diving into the Lego thing. And I even told my wife, I was like, man, if Costco got tons of Legos, like of things that I wanted at discounted prices, I wouldn't even shop at the Lego store anymore because I know I'd get a better deal at Costco. But they only kind of have one or two things here or there. So at the same time, you know, it's like, oh, do they have anything this month? Let me check. Cool. Great deal. Can't pass it up. But anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Um, sorry for not being on. But like I said, I've been enjoying time with my family, especially during the beautiful summer. But I want you guys to know, take advantage of these deals because it is just awesome to be able to do that. So um, other than that, you guys have a great day and enjoy your time and uh, keep on Legoing or whatever hobby you guys enjoy. And uh, please comment. Like, subscribe, let me know uh, what you guys think, and uh, I hope you guys uh, make out like bandits. Anyways, I'll talk to you all later. All right.